According to Doug's testimony, he lost his temper after Nance wiped the bloody knife on his pants. As soon as Nance left Doug in the basement and went upstairs, Doug broke free of his restraints, loaded a single round into his Savage 250 3000 Model 99 rifle, and climbed the stairs to his bedroom. Doug shot Nance in the side. Slowly, he made his way back to the bedroom, stumbling as Doug kept swinging the rifle at him. Nance got out his 22 revolver and fired three shots in the bedroom. After taking several shots to the head, Nance eventually passed out. As a result of the attack, Doug Wells was hospitalized with several injuries, including a bullet wound to the leg, a stab wound to the chest, bruises to the head and chest, and various contusions. On September 4, 1986, Nance was pronounced dead at St. Patrick's Hospital 